So in this video, we are going to learn how to add new leads from Instagram lead ads to Google Sheets. Let's say to market your business, you are running Instagram lead ads and generating some new leads. And to record those leads, you want to add the leads in your Google spreadsheet as well. So let me tell you, now you can completely automate this process. So in this automation, whenever we are going to receive a new lead, whenever a new lead will be generated in Instagram lead ads, automatically with the same details, we are going to add this lead in our Google spreadsheet as well. Now, if you want to know how you can set up this kind of automation, for that, you just have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, this is my Instagram account. And on Instagram, I'm running some ads to generate some new leads using Meta Ads Manager. And my Instagram account is connected to my Facebook page. Let me show you. So this is my Facebook page named as Peak Performance Physio. We will just go to settings section and after coming to settings, we'll go to linked account. And here you can see this is my Instagram account, which is connected to this Facebook page. And using Meta Ads Manager, I have created an ad campaign over here. This campaign is in draft right now, but I'll just publish this campaign within few minutes. And after that, we will see using this campaign, we are going to generate some new leads. And in this campaign as well, we have added a lead gen form, which is connected with my Facebook page, as you can see over here. And using the meta lead ad testing tool, you can generate some test leads, some dummy leads for that same lead gen form as well. Now, what do I want? That the ads which I'm running on Instagram, using which we are generating some new leads, I want to add those new leads from Instagram lead ads to my Google sheet over here. So I want to add the new leads from Instagram in my Google spreadsheet. And to do this, we have to connect our Instagram account or our Meta Ads Manager account with Google Sheets. And we are going to use an automation and integration platform called Pavli Connect to do so. Now to access Pavli Connect, just go to a new tab in your browser and search for P-A-B-B-L-Y, pavli.com slash connect. And after that, here you can see we are on the landing page of Pavli Connect. And here you can see two different options. First one is sign in, second one is sign up for free. Now, if you are a new user to Pavli, you can just click on sign up free and just create your free Pavli account in two minutes. But if you are an existing Pavli user, just click on sign in. After clicking on signing in, we will reach to this all apps page of Pavli. Here we just have to click on access now below Pavli Connect. And after clicking on access now, we will reach to Pavli Connect's dashboard. After coming to this dashboard, we have to create an automation workflow inside Pavli Connect between Instagram lead ads and Google Sheets. So what we are going to do, we will just click on this create workflow button and give this workflow a name. Let's say I would like to name a workflow as Instagram lead ads to Google Sheets. You can basically give any other name of your choice. Then just select the folder of your Pavli account in which you want to create the automation workflow and click on create. Now as you click on create here you can see the workflow is open over here. And in this workflow you can see two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on. Where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's start with our trigger window. Now the idea here is, first we are going to connect our Instagram lead account with Pavli Connect in the trigger step. So that whenever a new lead is generated using our Instagram lead ads, automatically the details of that new lead will be received inside Pavli Connect and this automation workflow will trigger, it will start. After that, using this Pavli Connect automation, we are going to send the details of that new leads to Google Sheet and add those new lead details in our Google Spreadsheet as a new row. So let's see how it is done. Starting from a trigger window in Choose app, search for Instagram lead ads. Just select this application as your trigger application. After selecting this in trigger event from the dropdown, select new lead instant. After selecting the trigger event, just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here we have to connect our Instagram lead ads account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, just click on this connect with Instagram lead ads button. Now here the connection between Instagram and Pavli Connect is made through our Facebook account. So we have to ensure that our Facebook account is also connected with Instagram. So here I'll show you in my Instagram profile, we'll just go to the settings section and under settings, you can just go to account center. 
and here at Meta Account Center, you will see my Instagram account and my Facebook account. Facebook profile are connected. And we have to connect the same Facebook account with Pabli Connect. So here in this pop-up window, I'll just select my Facebook account and click on continue. And as we click on continue, we will see our Instagram lead ads account will get connected with Pabli Connect. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is the page. That which page from your Facebook account is connected with your Instagram profile. So as I have shown you that the Facebook page which I have connected with my Instagram profile is named as Peak Performance Physio. And we have selected this same Facebook page in our ad campaign as well. So in this ad campaign, you can see this is the Facebook page which we are using to run Instagram lead ads. So we are going to select that same Facebook page from the drop down. So here in this drop down, you can see a list of all the pages which I have in my Facebook account. But out of all of this, we are going to select the page as Peak, Peak Performance Physio just select it and after selecting our facebook page it is asking us lead gen form so all the lead gen form which we have created for this facebook page you can see a list of all of those lead gen form in this drop down and out of all of this if you're using any specific lead gen form to run instagram lead ads and generate some new leads you can select that specific form over here in this drop down but if you're using all the lead gen forms which we have in this Facebook page and you want to capture or add the leads from all of those lead gen form in your Google spreadsheet, in that case, you can select this option of all lead gen form. Let's say I'm selecting this option of all lead gen form. This means in my campaign, I'm using all the lead generation form which we have created for this Facebook page and I want to add the leads from all of these forms in my Google spreadsheet using this automation. So that's why I have selected it. Now, after selecting our Facebook page and lead gen form, just click on save and send test request. And when we click on save and send test request, here you can see it is showing us waiting for webhook response. This means Pabli Connect is waiting to get some response, some details of a new lead from Instagram lead ads. Now, if your ad campaign is live, in that case, you can just wait for getting a response of a new lead, of a new lead being generated using Instagram lead ads. But if you don't want to wait for a new lead to be generated using your ad campaign, what you can do? You can use this lead ad testing tool by Meta for developers. So by going to developers.facebook.com, you can use this tool called lead ad testing tool, RTO debug tool. And using this tool, you can generate some test lead and capture the response of that test lead in your public connect workflow and start setting up your automation as well. Now, if you want to know how you can access this lead ad testing tool and how you can use this lead ad testing tool to generate some new leads, we already have a dedicated video live on the channel for that. But here right now, I have accessed the lead ad testing tool and here in this tool, we have selected our Facebook page and our lead gen form in which we want to generate a test lead. Now, after that, let's click on this preview form button and our lead gen form will open in front of us in preview mode. After opening this form, here you can see all the fields which we have added in this form can be seen over here. So what we are going to do, we are going to enter the details of a test lead, a dummy lead. Let's see the name of this lead is demo user. This is the email address. After that, this is a dummy mobile number which we are entering. The gender is for example male and the city is for example Bhopal. So just now in this lead gen form, we have entered the details of a test lead, a dummy lead. Now let's click on next and click on submit. And as we click on submit, here you can see just now using this lead ad testing tool, we have generated a test lead. And because we have connected our Instagram lead ads account with Pabli Connect, we will see in our Pabli Connect workflow in this trigger step, within few seconds, we have received the response. And in this response, you can see the details of this exact same lead. We have the same name demo user, we have the same email, same mobile number, same gender, and also the same city. This means the details of the new lead from Instagram lead ads is received inside Pabli Connect. So the step one of setting up this automation is completed. Now let's move to step two. And in step two, we want to add the same details of a new lead in our Google spreadsheet as a new row. For that, we will just scroll down and come to this action step. And here in choose app, we will search for Google Sheets. Just select it. After selecting Google Sheets, an action event from the drop down, select the action event as add new row. Then just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here we have to connect our Google Sheets account with Pabli Connect. And to make this connection, just click on this sign in with Google button. 
After that, just select your Google Sheets account, then just scroll down and click on Allow. And as we click on Allow, we will see our Google Sheets account will get connected with Pabli Connect. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is to select the spreadsheet. So here in this drop down, you can see a list of all the spreadsheets which are created in my Google Sheets account. Out of all of this, the spreadsheet in which we want to add the details of a new lead from Instagram is named as Instagram Leads. So we are going to select this particular spreadsheet from the drop down. After selecting the spreadsheet, it is asking us to select the sheet. Now here in this spreadsheet, you can see we have only one sheet named as sheet one. That's why by default from this drop down, it has selected sheet one. But it is most likely possible that you might have created multiple sheets in your Google spreadsheet. So here from this drop down, you have to select that in which particular sheet you want to add the details of a new lead. After selecting the sheet, all the column of data which we have created in the Google Sheet, all of these headers can be seen inside Pabli Connect as fields. So we have first name, last name, email, mobile number, gender and city. Now what we have to do, we have received all of these details of a new lead from Instagram lead ads in the trigger step. So one by one from the trigger step responses, we are going to map these details into this Google Sheets action step. And the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and here in this drop down, you can see a list of all the responses of a new lead. Out of all of these responses, select the response of first name and it will be mapped. Then after that, here in last name from the drop down, select the response of last name. Then let's map the email address as well. Select it and map it. Then we'll map the mobile number, gender, and at last, we are also going to map the city over here. In this way, all the details of a new lead from Instagram lead ads are mapped in this Google Sheets action step. After mapping all the details, just click on save and send test request. And when we click on save and send test request, here you can see we have received the response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that all the details of a new lead which we have mapped over here, all of these details are now added as a new row in Google Sheets. So let's check it. We will go to our Google spreadsheet and yes, here you can see all the details are added over here. You can see the same name demo user, the same email, same mobile number, gender and city as well. This means the new lead which we have just now generated using Instagram lead ads, we have basically added the same lead in our Google spreadsheet over here. And the automation workflow which we have created using Public Connect, this automation is working perfectly fine. Now after setting up this automation, we are going to test this automation workflow once. Now to test this automation, what you can do, I can you just make your Instagram ad campaign live over here, or you can use the Facebook lead ad testing tool too. But if you're using the Facebook lead ad testing tool, Meta for developers lead ad testing tool, in that case, first you have to delete the previous test lead which you have generated. Because using this testing tool, you can only create one lead at a time. So what we are going to do, we will just click on this delete lead button so that the previous lead which we have generated will be deleted. After that, we will just refresh this page once. After refreshing the page from this drop down, once again, we have to select the same Facebook page. So from this drop down, we are going to select the same Facebook page over here once again, Peak Performance Physio. After that, select your lead gen form and click on this preview form button. After clicking on preview form, here you can see this lead gen form will open once again in preview mode. This time we are going to enter the details of a new lead. For example, this time the name of the user is test user. The name of the lead is test user. Then this is the email address. And this is the dummy mobile number which we are entering. The gender is for example female. And then after that the city is for example Delhi. So just now we have entered the details of another test lead over here. And after entering these details, let's click on next and click on submit. After clicking on submit here, you can see using this lead ad testing tool, we have generated another test lead. And as we get a new lead in our Instagram lead ads account, instantly automatically the details of this lead will be added in Google Sheets. And yes, here in our Google spreadsheet, you can see the details are now automatically added. We have the same name, email, mobile number, gender and city as well. This means the automation workflow which we have created using Pabli Connect, we have tested this automation in real time and it is working perfectly fine. So not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications with Pabli Connect. 
and one more important thing you will find the clone link of this exact same automation workflow in the description box below by clicking on that link you can clone the same workflow into your own pavli connect account and use this automation workflow for free also let me tell you pavli connect offers you a free plan and in this plan you will get some free task every month into your own pavli connect account so if you want to try and test this automation you can do it for absolutely free if you have any kind of doubts or queries you can email us at support@pavli.com or post it on our forum over here or you can write us in the comment box below too if you want to check out the pricing of pavli connect you can visit this link and if this video was helpful to you don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to pavli so this is it for today's video thank you have a great day